Hey guys, I'm Sakura and I'm one of the co-founders of Vlogettes. Today I'm going to show you guys all about the graduated filter in Lightroom. So a lot of people don't really know about the graduated filter, but it's really such a helpful tool because say you have great lighting on the left hand side of the photo, but the right hand side is a little bit darker, you can make all those adjustments just by using the graduated filter in Lightroom. So here we are, we have a photo of one of our girls sitting on the bed um, in the hotel room and I'm going to really quick edit the look and feel. So develop module. I'm going to put this and maybe just adjust a tiny bit. But as you can see on the left hand side, that's where the window is. So her hair is super um, brighter and the right hand side is a little bit darker. So that's what we want to fix right now. So the graduated filter is right here. Okay, or you can hit M on your keyboard. Then as soon as you click on it, your menu will pop down. We're going to click and drag and as you can see it's already making it slightly brighter. You see that? So if you check here show selected mask overlay that the red part right here is where it's affecting it. You can even go ahead and adjust specific parts slot or turn it. Okay. Um, or you can make it smaller. So it's all up to you. But you can not only make it brighter, you can also make it darker if you need to. Let's uncheck this so you can see. You can make it darker if you want, if you want to. Brighter. You can even add clarity to that specific section. Whatever you want to do, you can do here. You can even add, change the temperature and tint. Let's just keep it normal. Perfect. So as you can see, just right here, we can just make that right hand corner brighter and just hit done. Okay, so let's compare. Here's before, here's after. Okay, it makes a whole lot of difference. We made this part a little bit brighter. Go back. And if we want to make her hair a little bit darker, we can also do that by, here's our other section earlier that we just edited. Click done, okay, click that again. Now we're adding a new one. But this time, we don't wanna make it brighter, we wanna make it slightly darker. So we're going to grab that exposure and bring it down a tiny bit. If we want to bring it a little bit more to her hair, look at that. Now it has a even flow all throughout the photo and that's all you need to know when it comes to graduated filter. It really helps um, even when it comes to like the sky or the ocean. It's such a great tool that not a lot of people use so make sure to practice and use it often. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below and we'll make sure to get back to you. Thanks guys, bye.